Hi everyone, welcome to my group fitness class today. Today we're going to be doing hardcore and working out this app a little bit. My name is Hannah and I teach group fit on the downtown campus. I hope everyone's staying healthy and let's get this workout. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a short little warm up that um, you can do with really any exercise that you're choosing, any workout. And then we're going to go into a set of five different ab exercises. We're going to do 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, and then during that rest time we're going to rotate to the next exercise. And we're going to go through all five together. I'm going to show you and we'll all do it together one time. And then after that, you can feel free to repeat it, repeat it a couple times. Um, what I like to do on my own, I usually do this set three different times, so that it makes a really good 15 minute workout. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get warmed up here. Let me just get my timer going so I know for 45 seconds for our circuit. But let's just go ahead and let's start with 20 jumping jacks here. One. Okay, once you're done with those, go ahead and bring your feet right about shoulder width height. Take the arms out wide. We're going to twist and reach the opposite foot. We're going to do the same thing, 20 of these. Stretching out those hamstrings a little bit, warming up the core. And that nice full twist here. About halfway there, 10 more. Feel free to go at your own pace, move what feels good for your body. Okay, great job. Once we're all done with those, if you're not there, take a second. You're totally okay. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a 45 second plank. You want to go up on your hands. This is going to be the easiest version. If I'm going to make it a little bit more difficult, you can go into your forearms. It doesn't matter to me, whatever feels good for you. So we're going to go for 45 seconds here. I'll take a second, let everyone get into their positions. Okay, 45 second plank. And three, two, one. 45 seconds here. You really want to make sure that you're tucking your hips in and squeezing that core from a nice flat back. You don't want to see anything like this or letting the hips sink. Really protect that lower back here and squeeze that core. Just about halfway here. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, 15. So once again, starting with those 20 jumping jacks. Making sure those hands get the whole way up if you want to clap. To make sure you gain that full range of motion. I always think that's a great idea. shoulder width, arms out, gain that full rotation. Give me 20 here. Just start to be feeling those heart rates get up a little bit. That blood's moving. Finish it up with that last 45 second plank here. 
If you were on your hands before, you want to go to your elbows, that's a great idea. Whatever feels good for you. Let's go ahead, let's find what position we're going to do. And we're going to go in three, two, one. 45 seconds here. Tuck those hips in, squeeze that butt. Nice flat position. Head in line with the neck, in line with the shoulders, in line with the hips. Just about halfway here. Fifteen seconds here. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Go ahead, relax. Grab a drink of water here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into those five exercises that I was talking about. I'm going to repeat this again, but we're going to do 45 seconds to work, 15 seconds to rest and catch your breath. We're going to go through that set. I'm going to go through it once with you guys. Go through it repeat it on your own two more times, and that'll be a really good 15 minute workout. So while you're catching your breath here, I'm just going to demonstrate our first, our five exercises here. First one is sit-ups. Um, the most efficient way to do sit-ups is to have those feet out in front of you, kind of in a butterfly, butterfly position, and you're going to roll the whole way back, make sure we're touching the ground behind us so that we're getting that full range of motion, and totally feel free to swing those arms to get your body the whole way up. So this is just the first one here. Um, so yeah, so that's the modification for that one would just be to go a little bit slower. The faster you go, the more reps you're gonna get, the more about harder it's gonna be. Um, if you wanna count, that's always a great idea, and you can see and try to hit that same number for the next two rounds. So that's number one. Number two is we're gonna do three way crunches. So we're gonna have our hands in either a shooter position or just held together. And we're gonna reach the outside, the middle, and the opposite outside, and we're gonna work our way back. So we're going to go out, middle, out, middle, out, middle. We're just going to go through that for 45 seconds. Number four, I mean, number three, we're going to be doing a bicycle. So we're going to have those hands holding your head, opposite knee to opposite elbow. To modify this one, just don't reach as far. Whatever your full range of motion is, would be the modification. So if you can only go to here, that's totally okay. Number four, we're gonna be spelling the alphabet with our feet. So, we're gonna have our hands by your side or underneath your butt, whatever's comfortable for you. You really wanna make sure that you're pushing your lower back into the ground and squeezing that core. You wanna think about bringing your belly button towards your spine. If you're arched out like this, and you can see that my back is off, up off the mat, that's not really good. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on your spine. You really wanna tuck those hips in. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be up like this, and we're gonna be spelling the alphabet with our feet. So A, B, we're just gonna go through that until we get to that 45 second mark. This is a fun one to keep a track of how far you get and see if you can get to a different level the next time. Last one, number five, we're gonna be doing hip dips. So you want your shoulder right above your elbow here. Um, hardest way would be to go up on your feet like this. Tap the floor, squeeze that oblique, pull yourself up. Um, middle would be to put your foot down. You just have a little bit more support, or if you're sliding, that's a good way. And then if you want to modify it, you can put your knees completely on the ground, and same thing. Just squeeze that side. And then you're going to switch halfway through to around, probably around 20 seconds, start to switch, and you're going to do the opposite side. Okay. So now that we got all that done, I'm going to go through it with you guys one time and then feel free to repeat it on your own. So let me get that time going here. First one is those sit ups. We're going to get going in three, two, one, 45 seconds here. Touch the ground, squeeze that core, pull it back up. Always remembering to breathe through these exercises, get that oxygen to those muscles here.
just about halfway. Try and see if you can keep that pace that you up. Ten seconds here. Three, two, one. Great job, guys. Fifteen seconds here. You slow down, catch your breath if you need to. Next one we're going into is those three way crunches. And three, two, one. Outside, middle, outside. Keep it going. Nice and steady here. Really making sure we're getting that nice squeeze at the top. You want to hold it at the top, that's always a good idea. A little second, then bring it back down. Under 20, keep pushing. You got it, almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Go ahead, 15 seconds here to catch your breath. Next one is going to be those bicycles. And three, two, one. Let's ride it out here. You want to speed it up? It's going to be a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging. Do whatever feels good for your body. Let's get started in three, two, one, hip dip. So get those hips up. Simple pause at the bottom. Squeeze those obliques and pull it right back up here. Okay, great job guys. Quickly transition to the opposite side. Quick transition there. We're back up on the other side, squeezing those obliques. This will hit those muscles right here, all the way up to your side. In three, two, one. Great job, guys. So that was the five exercises that you can go through. I highly suggest repeating that set two more times. It gives a really good 15 minute workout, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. That is a great way to do a lot of different exercises. So if you can think of five different ab exercises, do 45 seconds, 15. That's a great way to work out. But thank you guys for working out with me today. Stay safe and stay healthy.